The Matrix Revolutions Short Move Review. Everything that has a beginning has an end, but the beginning is really bad and the ending is somehow even worse. This picks up right where Reloaded left off, complete with the utter incredible level of disappointment. Neo and Bane will both wake up from their comas, but you won't like what happens then. A lot of this is action set in the real world, and in general, scenes set in the real world, which was not what anybody wanted. And it looks impressive, and these war scenes get really intense, and they're decent enough war scenes. Like, they keep showing faces, it's not just effects over and over. You, you have a real sense of how the, the war is going. It's not, you know, the Attack of the Clones climax. There's... Yeah. You, you... You see faces. They're not faces of people you care about, but there are faces. There, there's the human element. And you get a real idea of... You know, you can see them do do stuff that affects the war, that you know, that affects this big battle. But, and and generally, you know, the, the attack on Zion is pretty good, although it does run at least a little bit too long, but that's about it. There's very little plot. We spend very little time with the characters that we came here to see, and at the end of the day, the movie is basically these two big climactic battles, and people flying towards those battles. The climax between Neo and Smith, the martial arts is nice, and like there, there are some cool little bits. It takes place in the rain, but the rain has this kind of code rain quality to it. But then there's like wrestling moves and supermaning and Dragon Ball kind of fighting. I don't mind Dragon Ball, but it just doesn't work on the big screen. It doesn't it doesn't work when at least some of it is real people. You have to keep something like that animated. It doesn't work the way a lot of Akira could be translated into the first Matrix, for example. And yeah, it's it's not a very satisfying conclusion. It's especially the the very conclusion is it, it works on an allegorical level, but it's incredibly unsatisfying for the audience. And the, the philosophy, a little of it, is followed up on, and the story does end this time around, unlike Reloaded, but, yeah, it's just it's incredibly disappointing. And even if you go into, if you go into these two sequels, if, you know, you can't go directly into this because you have no clue what's going on. Reloaded didn't explain anything that happened in the first, but it does introduce a lot of the world too much. But this one does nothing to remind you of what's going on or anything. But even if you're still, like, if you're... Even if you're not disappointed by this, it's just not that good of a movie. It's just not that impressive or interesting. And, yeah, it's, it's a bunch of time spent with people we didn't care about when we met them and reloaded. And it even ends with those characters that we didn't care about and yeah it's it's not very good i've reviewed other parts of this franchise the links are in the description box if you like this review and want a more detailed one the link is in the description box